The National Weather Service shared these satellite images of the smoke pumping out from the Fly and Dixie fires. And now looking live at the San Francisco skyline, Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan joins us now. Now, Paul, it's relatively clear now, but do we have any idea of some of that smoke and haze is going to really head our direction? It's going to try to for the first time this season because so far during the fire season, the Bay Area has been pretty lucky that those consistent onshore winds have been with us, not just at ground level, but far up in the atmosphere. And that has just kept all the smoke blowing away from us. That's going to start to change as we head into the weekend, especially those mid-level and upper-level winds, basically eight to 10,000 feet and above. Those are going to start blowing more from east to west. And so we're going to see some of that smoke trying to move in Sunday, not having too much success yet until we get into Monday morning. And it looks like that smoke is going to settle in throughout the day Monday with the air quality probably bottoming out Monday night into Tuesday morning as, again, you're seeing the offshore winds. But these wind arrows, again, represent the winds way up in the atmosphere. At ground level, the wind is either still going to be onshore or at worst, running along the coast. So it's going to be a complicated scenario where the mid-level winds trying to degrade our air quality, while the low-level winds are going to be trying to improve our air quality. Hopefully they'll balance each other out, and the worst we're going to see is the moderate category for air quality by Monday and Tuesday. That's what we're forecasting at this point. But again, as that smoke blows in, if enough of it settles down to ground level, we could see some orange and red dots on the forecast indicating unhealthy air quality levels, especially for inland parts of the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley.